These scenarios I described take place after Nier has already proven that light is Kira. I will give three of the most likely scenarios to happen preceding these events and see if there's a way for me as light to escape them. Ryok believes light can escape so he doesn't reveal the fake rules or try to kill him. Nier was able to prove I was Kira using a fake death note. I would remain calm and tell Nier that he's right. I would try to sympathize with the task force by apologizing to them for what I put them through. Telling them I believe that everything that I did was done to create a better world. Even though they might not go along with anything I say anymore, they might waver in faith. Matsuda, in particular might actually fall for something like this as he now has answers to what has been done. The task force would most likely be the ones to arrest me seeing as they were about to arrest Light before. It's unlikely he has any more pieces of the notebook. And with those wounds, he's not going to go far. He'll stop running soon, even if we leave him alone. Huh. Nier, I'm not gonna follow your orders. Huh? Very well then. I'll leave it up to you. Similarly, they'd handcuff me from the front seeing as... Maji was about to handcuff me from the front. That's how Mikami was handcuffed. As well as Light previously being handcuffed from the front in a similar situation to this. Aizawa, please take him away. Similarly to how people in real life are arrested, the task force would place me in the back of their car by myself and both the SBK and task force would drive off, bringing me to prison. While in the car I'd sit on the opposite side of the driver's side in the back of the car. I'd take out the piece of the death note and the pen or needle I brought with me and lean forward against the chair in front of me. The driver wouldn't be able to watch me cause they're driving and the person in front of me wouldn't be able to either because I'm hiding behind the seat. I'd have to write really small but this is what I do. Depending on who's in the car and who's driving. Aizawa. And. I'd. Might be in the car with me. Aizawa. Who still has the death note on him. He would either be in the driver's seat or passenger seat. Let's say passenger seat. What I'd specifically write down would be this. Shuichi. Aizawa. Heart attack. Asks to be taken to the task force base tells near he knows where some note scrap is hidden and to send him the prison place to meet later. Brings light into empty room alone to find scrap. Gives him death note. Waits 5 to 10 minutes then leaves to a known location dying. While, Aizawa, is waiting I'd then be able to write the rest of the task force and SBK members names down. I'd write that all the other members of the SBK send me the information they have on Kira and then delete it all. I'd write that. Maji comes and takes the handcuffs off me. The rest of the task force brings me back to our headquarters and leaves and goes to commit suicide in such a way that the bodies wouldn't be found. Same as before Nier was able to prove I was Kira using a fake death note. I would remain calm and tell Nier that he's right. I would try to sympathize with the task force by apologizing to them for what I put them through. Telling them I believe that everything that I did was done to create a better world. I still get arrested only this time it's by the SBK. They arrest me similar to how they arrested Mikami. Placing us both in the back of the car with each other similar to how Misa and Light were placed in the back with each other before. I would comfort Mikami, trying to explain to him that maybe this is for the best. Both the SBK and task force would drive off, bringing us to prison. I wouldn't have to worry much about Mikami in the back with me since we'd be working together but I would still use the car seat to hide my movements like before. Similarly to the previous scenario, I would take out the scrap from my watch only this time we would have to work with the SBK members. We know Nier's name was written down first. We can judge that. Mikami wrote the rest of the names based on who was nearest to him. This meaning Anthony Carter is most likely the tall blonde haired man. Stephen Loud is a dark haired man. And Hallie Bullock is the blonde woman. I'd write Anthony Carter, Stephen Loud, Halle, Bullock, Tauda, Matsuda, Shuichi, Aizawa, Kanzo, Maji, Hideki. I'd die of heart attacks. Do everything near says then go die in an unknown location at midnight. I would also write on the other side of the scrap Nate River. Heart attack gets SBK to release Light from confinement and gives him all things and info related to the Kira case then deletes it, going to an unknown location dying at midnight. 
Same as the last two scenarios, Nier was able to prove I was Kira using a fake death note. I would remain calm and tell Nier that he's right. I would try to sympathize with the task force by apologizing to them for what I put them through. Telling them I believe that everything that I did was done to create a better world. In the end I still get arrested. It doesn't matter if it's the SBK or task force here. They decided to rearrange your handcuffs having them behind our backs instead. As well they decide to place us in the back of one of the cars only this time one of the task force or SBK members is sitting in the back watching over us. In this circumstance even though we could slip the handcuffs in front of ourselves to make it easier to write. We'd be easily caught even if we could end up writing here. Instead what I would do is take out the small scrap and needle and hold it in my hand. I would reach my hand up from behind my back and place the paper and needle on my shoulder then put the paper and needle in my mouth and hide it in the right or left side of my upper mouth and between my teeth and inner mouth. The person next to me might find my movement strange but it would just look like we're struggling with the handcuffs. When we get to the prison where Nier wants us to stay he would confiscate it everything I'm wearing. Once I'm in prison I can take out the needle and paper from in my mouth. The paper would be wet but I could let it dry off. Once it does I could use the needle and my blood to write everyone's names. Similarly to the previous scenario I'd write Anthony Carter, Stephen Loud, Halley, Bullock, die of heart attacks, do everything near says then go die in an unknown location at midnight. I would also write on the other side of the scrap Nate River, heart attack, gets SBK to release light from confinement and gives him all things and info related to the Kira case then deletes it, going to an unknown location dying at midnight. And these are the three most likely scenarios to happen and how to get out of them. But what do you think? Could light win after he was caught or do you think it's impossible? Let me know in the comments.